Hey, welcome to another set of beers, Jack and Barbecue. Check out the new rubs from Grillaholic we used on these prime New York strips tonight. Hey, I'm Craig, the man behind the cameras, Jack. So got home yesterday from work, and there was a box in my driveway. Grillaholic sent us some rubs that they've been working on. I knew they were working on something, but didn't know what it was. These were just released um, this past week. So they have two different ones here. One's just SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, and the other one's SPG twisted, so it has butter flavor as well. I was going to just do the butter one because that's the one I'm really interested in trying. I love SPG, and don't get me wrong, it's probably very good, but the butter one really had me interested, but I thought, hey, you know what? Let's do a little comparison of the two tonight, see how it works out. You can see here I got four steaks. Jack was whining about all the food we have tonight, but I'm sure he'll have no issue taking a steak home with him tonight. But uh, got the SPG here, got the SPG with butter, got the toothpicks in there so I can remember what's what when we go to cook them off. The other secret I'm going to share with you tonight is how I cook a lot of things on the weekends at times. As you know, we got many grills here on the back patio. <clears throat> Just this past weekend, I made filet for my wife and a ribeye for myself. And got the Rectech 380 out, set it at 250, put the steaks on, got them warmed up. Had the Komodo Joe running at like 550, 600 degrees with the soapstone on there. So when they reached temperature on the uh, Rectech, pulled them off, went right over to the Komodo Joe, seared them on the soapstone, dinner was ready. Nice thing with that is like when I'm ready to pull them off the, uh, the, the cat, or the, the, I'm sorry, the, uh, the um, pellet grill, had a hard time getting on with that one. When I pull out the pellet grill, I let my wife know, like, hey, gonna be another five minutes when I do the searing. Gonna rest for 10 minutes, and that's about the time we're gonna be ready to eat. So she knows, like, when we're making other sides or doing some other things. So, uh, kind of a good way to do it. Also, did that, did about 10, 12 steaks for Father's Day, and did the same process with two different grills one at a high heat, one at a low, just to get things moving. So, uh, sharing my secrets that I do things on the weekends here. So, uh, bring it back, get it on the Rectech to warm up. We'll show you that. All right, gonna give the grates a quick clean. Got the grill of hogs, the one without the bristles today. These are the two that had the butter. And these two are the SPG. Did this about um, three hours ago. So I will probe them up. I won't show you that, but I'll get the probe in them. We're going to watch these till they go like we always do, about 75 before we come back and flip them. All right, it's going to be a flip. This one just hit 70, almost 75. Toothpick back in there, so I remember this is the butter. Probably gonna pull them off at 100 already because we can sear a little extra if we want. This one here, I'm gonna reset the probe. I think I'm missing the center a little bit. All right, bring it back when we get to about 100 before we go ready to sear. All right, so we're a little bit before 100, but I want to check things out before when I did it. That's right at 100. Got a little bit to go there. Same with that one, and this one should be the same. All right, perfect. So you may see next time I might pull one off if it gets a little bit like 105, because I want to have enough room to steer these pretty hard. So uh, should bring you back shortly to show you that. All right, so I went pretty quick. I didn't pull the other one off at all, but uh, everything's at about 100, so. To get everything off. All right, next thing you'll see is a Komodo Joe for searing. All right, temperature there shows only 400, but it was just above 500 degrees. We were just doing some focusing. I did put a little bit of oil on these to start the searing process. All right, gonna let them go about a minute. I am gonna close the lid for the first part to keep that stone nice and hot. 
All right, so that was the minute. All right, gonna go for another minute. Boy, they're looking nice. Gonna go about 30 seconds on this side, then I'm gonna bring them back, get a little more sear on this side, and also do a quick temperature read. That's perfect, perfect. All right, one last flip here. Definitely gonna go a minute. I might leave the lid open for you right now too. All right, so there's the other minute. I'm gonna put one of each in here. Gotta have one for Jack. And then I'll be doing the taste test on here. But, boy, that looks good. All right, we'll show you on the cutting board. As always, cheers. Here we are, end of the cook. Brought you into my secrets of cooking on the weekend. Not really secrets, it's just I don't like to, like, often we'll do a sh show you a shoot, we'll do them indirectly, pull them off, then we'll let the grill come up to temperature for searing. So this way, the only thing I do is, you know, I have the multiple grills, and if you have a gas grill or charcoal grill or however you want to do things, you know, often people anymore have, you know, maybe a pellet grill and another grill um, to go with it. Use one grill to warm up, one gr grill to sear them. Like I said, Father's Day did, I think we had 10 steaks I did. Had the Rectech uh, 590 where I warmed them up on that one and then had the 380 with my grill grates on there and seared everything off. So that's what we basically did tonight. Had the Rectech 380, set at 250, let them warm up. We got about 75, flipped them, got to 100, we pulled them off. I already had the Komodo Joe running at around 520 degrees, so that means the stone was probably around 550 to 560, um, which was been finding out has been a nice temperature the sear at because I can actually leave them on a little bit longer. That's why I pull them off at 100 because we like medium rare. So I said, Deanna, check that the last one of the second last flips was only at a 110. So probably went to 118 and now the resting into the 120s. And we like the low and the medium rare anyway. So uh, perfect sear. But the other part was what we did the seasoning on these. So Grillaholics came out with new rubs. Just came out this past week. Um, SPG, which is this one right here. And then SPG Twisted, which has the butter flavor in it. So, got my little toothpick over here so I know which one is what yet. So, let's cut into these things, do a little taste test. See how everything tastes. It's looking nice. That's good. I'm a huge SPG fan, so I knew I was gonna like these. Let's try the one that twists the one with butter. <clears throat> yep, hit them right. I love this method for doing it. Oh, run away. That was good. You got some butter flavor out of that for sure. Probably had a little bit more of the pepper side on this one because putting it on, I did see the pepper was a little bit bigger, but this one just a really nice flavor. So looking forward to using these more often. You'll, you'll see them here again. We'll do them on some other things, but boy, really happy with these things. Um, great company to work with. So hopefully, you're seeing, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell to get notifications, and we'll see you next time.